Six months ago when we began the Leadership for Growth program with uh, Amani Institute, there were so many things that I had a different perception about and uh, the program has been able to uh, change my mindset about so many things. Uh, and I say these reflecting back at some of the things that I had a different perception like coaching. What was my understanding of coaching? Through the training, we've been taken through what coaching is, had sessions, uh, had sessions with our trainers, as well as had sessions with the people that we were uh, training together. And from it, we've been able to reflect back and looking at what I used to do, it almost seemed like, seemed like I, I was actually uh, manipulating people, but in real sense, I needed to be, to be coaching people. Uh, something else that I, when I look back, I used to do, and I, I'd say I used to do it unawarely, uh, was how I get to communicate. And from the training, uh, if in effective communication and learning about nonviolent communication, I was able to learn how I need to communicate with, uh, with people, communicate um, uh, with different stakeholders in the organization, and get to communicate in a nonviolent way. Uh, what has this ripped for me? It has made it easier for me to relate with other people in different departments. It has made it easier for people to respond to what I request for them. And it has even reduced some timelines on some of the actions that I have requested uh, from teams. Something else that I've taken out from the training uh, is upward management. Now, uh, in my profession, there's so much that you can get to learn, especially for people who have had experience uh, in the field. And uh, I took upward management because I was looking at the experience that my manager had and the value that I can get to achieve from it by being able to intentionally stretch myself from uh, my comfort zone, taking up tasks that uh, are not in my plate and be able to relieve it so much from my boss and allow her uh, to have a better focus on some other strategic decisions and uh, actions. Uh, something else, uh, I have mentioned coaching. And when I look at the, 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 the discussions that I've had with managers that I support in the branches, looking at how they were three, uh, six months ago before we underwent three, this training, and looking at the discussions that I've been able to have with them, they have been able to have some self-reflection in our conversations, be able to think about solutions that they get, they should have had, and be able to implement those solutions. So I would say, for, the, for this training, it has really impacted me personally and professionally because uh, some of the things like nonviolent communication, I not only apply them at work, I also get to apply it uh, in my home and it's really working. Uh, I can get to see lots of positive things. So I'd say there's, there's great value in the training. Um, it has been able to change uh, me as a person, it has been able to change the approach I've had towards things. It has been able to, even through the business in, you know, inno, uh, innovation uh, project, we have been able to think about solutions that will be able to make the company get to be in a better place uh, within a given period of time. Uh, so I'd say thank you so much to Amani Institute for uh, developing content for this training. Uh, thank you so much to the trainers and also thank you so much to Penda Health Leadership for believing that when they get to invest in such a training, we will get value for our organization.